there is a chill in the air. Winter has arrived. It might be getting cold and windy outside, but that's no reason to hibernate until spring. There is a renaissance taking place in the sport of ice fishing that is totally revolutionizing the way people think about ice fishing. It's all new, it's all fun, and it's inspiring many to get out and enjoy winter. In the next 30 minutes, you'll have access to some of the best fishing minds in the ice fishing world who have totally redefined this popular sport. Join Tom Zanenko, author, lecturer, and tournament champion as he shows you the modern ice fishing revolution on Vexlar's Ice Fishing Today. Ice Fishing Today is a unique program linked to the World Wide Web, allowing you to learn even more ice fishing secrets that will double your fishing success. Don't go away. An exciting edition of Ice Fishing Today is coming your way. Today we're fishing for perch on Mille Lacs Lake. And joining me for Ice Fishing Today's greatest perch adventure ever is Jason Durham from Park Rapids, Minnesota. Now many of you may recognize that good looking man right there, but he's a school teacher. He's an author and very popular seminar speaker who specializes in fishing seminars. And also joining us today is Corey Studer from Walleyes Plus Guide Service. Now Corey is kind of the local legend around here and he's taken us out to what he says are the number one perch spots on the entire lake. Hey, good to see you, Corey. Good to see you, Jason. Hey, what are we looking at today? What do we got below? We've got gravel to mud transition. That's where the perch are feeding on these little mayfly larvae. Now, are we gonna encounter a lot of these fish that have full bellies, is this bite just starting or has it been going on for a couple days? It's been going on for a couple weeks now and they're just feeding heavily on the larvae and actually you've got one coming up to your bait right now. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. There it is. Nice. And folks, I want you to know this wasn't a setup. He actually <clears throat> caught this on camera. Miracles do happen. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that big. No, oh, it's a fun one. It's but a nice it's, fish. It's a nice mm. fish. Got a little belly on him. Yeah. Now, folks, you know, we found this area by using this little handy dandy GPS, and it's got the Lake Master um, chip in it, which has one foot increments on there. So you don't need to be a guy to get out to these areas because the GPS with these ma Lake Master maps show you where to go and how to catch these fish. Now, I've got one of those Lake Master chips, and it's actually in my GPS in my boat. Mm -hmm. I know that I can take that chip out and actually put it in the handheld unit and use the same, same chip. Exactly. Well, folks, if you've never been to Mille Lacs Lake, you've got to come out here. This is kind of a unique place to come to in the wintertime. It's like 20 miles by 20 miles of a big, giant, flat football field. As far as you can see is ice. The ice where we're at right now is like four feet thick. It's very safe. We went out to local resorts. Out of Libex. Um, out of Libex Resort. And they've got roads that are plowed, so it's safe for you to get on and off the water. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's quite an experience to be out here in such a massive open area. I mean, this is, it is quite impressive. It could be intimidating for a person never having been out here before. Exactly, and, and that's where these Lake Master chips come in real handy. Well, I think also a good thing to bring up is you should always come out here in groups of a people, not, rather than coming out by yourself in case something does happen. You get stuck. You or, get stuck or something. You've always got two vehicles to work with. And that, that's a good tip to remember when anytime you come to Mille Lacs. Radio too, and make sure you have the phone number of the resort that you go out of. So if, if something does happen, you can try to contact them as well. Cell phones are a great thing, and Mille Lacs is covered all by cells, so you'll be able to get cell phone reception, correct? Correct. So you can call them up and say, I'm stuck, come and help, mm -hmm. things like that. That's great, that's great. Well, the perch action looks like it's just getting started, and with Jason catching that big one like that, I'm ready. Let's get after it. All right, let's go catch some fish. Good luck, guys. Hey, do you want to double your ice fishing success? There's one word that'll make you a better fisherman, and that word is Vexilar. A Vexilar stands alone as your single biggest advantage to double your fishing success. Check out the classic FL8 and FL18 and the all new FL12 and FL20. Vexilar's live action, three color sonar leads the world in reliability and performance. I'm Dave Gans and I won't go fishing without my Vexilar. Check out Vexilar.com. StrikeMaster has been the leading innovator of ice fishing technology for more than 60 years. The Whisper Quiet Strike Light 4 Stroke Auger features the industry's lowest emission rating. The Laser Mag Express is the benchmark for power augers, delivering 170 RPMs of ice cutting force. The Glide Light Sled lets you drill more holes, catch more fish, and have more fun on the ice. Log on to StrikeMaster.com for more information. Boy, I tell you, these perch, this one's coming on, this one's coming on. See, there we go. You're the one who catches it. I Small thought he was, one. I thought he was coming fish. on me. But there's a good one down there. Yeah, that's the one that's going to bite on my line. See, this is a, this is fun for 
I don't care if it's big or small, catch and perch is just plain fun. Oh, absolutely. And it doesn't matter even if it's perch. I mean, today I caught a tulipy, that was a fun fight. Yesterday you caught a crappie. We've caught some really small shiner minnows, so you got them. Well, mine's a little bigger than yours. But you know, a lot of folks don't realize that, that Jason Durham's also a, a kindergarten teacher. That's right, he deals with those little kids. And you know, we're out here ice fishing, and I've been talking about ice fishing as being a, a, the ultimate family sport because people can get out and do things. Ah, see, mine's a little better. Mine's a little better. That's a decent perch. But, but Jason, what is it with the new generation of kids? You know, I, all I see is video games, video games, and all that. How are we going to get them out on the ice to have fun fishing? What are the tips that people should follow to try to get them involved? Well, the most important thing is that you actually give the kids an opportunity to get out, whether it's in the boat or on the ice. I mean, there are so many things that pull at their time, whether it's TV, video games, sports, and those are okay to some degree, but you have to give the kids some time to explore and enjoy what Mother Nature has to offer. You know, when you take a kid out on the ice or in the boat, you need to make sure that they're having fun. And it's not just about catching fish. It's everything that goes along with it. It's stopping at the bait shop in the morning. It's stopping afterwards to get an ice cream cone or a snack. It's bringing an extra toy out onto the water and lots of extra snacks too. That's what's gonna keep the kids happy while you're out here. Well, I know that I, I had a chance to take some of my neighbor kids out and I, we've, we've actually had a couple of young gentlemen actually host part of the Ice Fishing Today show. Sure. And they're big fans with Vexilar. I mean, you know, Vexilar itself is a technology that lends itself to keeping the attention span of the kids a little bit longer focused on fishing, hopefully enough to gain traction so they want to do it more. I, I remember though as a kid, and I don't know, maybe there's a psychological reason with my generation, is that when I was growing up, it was so cold and miserable. I remember my mom and dad would stick newspaper in our boots and shoes to try to get more insulation so we could stay out longer. And by the way, we still froze. But the point being nowadays with warmer clothes, it's more comfortable for the kids to be out and playing. But for some reason, I just gravitated to ice fishing as being the thing I love to do. And you know, I don't know, we've got to, I, I see kids out here running around having a good time and I, it just warms my heart to know that the next generation is coming up strong into ice fishing. Yeah, absolutely. And, and that's the thing, you know, like I say, you have to make sure you give the kids a chance to get out. And even if you don't have kids, you might know of a neighbor kid down the road that enjoys angling, that, that really wants to get out. Give them a call, take them out on the ice. It's giving them a chance to explore what angling's all about. It is a different type of fishing. I mean, a lot of people who think of fishing think of climbing into a boat, strapping on a life jacket, and you're sitting there, don't move, sit there, enjoy yourself. And the kids are going, I'm not, this isn't any fun. I can't do nothing. But out here, they can run around, they can have a good time. It's, it's a different kind of a fishing experience than summertime. Absolutely, and developmentally, kids need some space to move around. And the younger the child, the more they need that. I mean, they have to get up and move, and in the boat, that's really difficult to do, but out on the ice, we've got miles and miles <laughs> of open area, Let so they can, they can definitely run around. Well, it's, it's a good thing to get kids involved, and folks, I hope if you have a young child or know a young child that you take them out ice fishing with you, because it does uh, plant the seeds for future generations of ice fishing, and, and, and I think it's a great activity for the whole family to enjoy. Oh, absolutely. It's the future of angling itself, and we want to make sure that we've got kids enjoying it the way that we did when we were growing up. And if you'd like some more tips on how to get your kids out ice fishing, be sure to check out icefishingtoday.com. We've got a whole section on bringing kids out on the ice. I think you'll really enjoy it. Now I'm going to catch me a bigger one now. Boy, oh boy. Come on, fishy. Well, they're coming up like a rocket and then back and back down. Why don't you put another hole right there, Corey? You know, folks, Drilling holes used to be a big challenge. I remember when I was a youngster growing up, we used to use these spoon augers and we used to crank for hours on end just to be able to drill one hole. Nowadays, with new technology, you can drill holes quickly and safely. But there are, there are a few rules you need to follow. Now, we don't have time to show you everything here on today's program, but if you go to icefishingtoday.com, Hall of Fame angler Butch Furtman did a special feature on just how to drill holes and how to do it safely. So go to icefishingtoday.com to learn some of the inside tips on drilling holes safely, and you'll have a lot more fun on the water this season. Oh yeah, there we go, good fish. Oh, <laughs> you know when you set into them and they don't move, they just thump their heads, you know it's a good one.
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nice Malax perch. Look at that. Nice fat fish. They're feeding on these mayfly larvae. And what I did, I used a little Northland forage minnow spoon and I just started shaking it. I've got a couple Euro larve on the end of the hook and just kept moving it, moving it, and that thing just drilled it. Nice fish. When perch fishing, you need to be mobile. Schools of fish, they move all over the place. They go from flat to flat, just feeding on insects, minnows, mayfly larvae. It's real critical to move from hole to hole. Today we drilled probably 50 to 100 holes, and we'll probably drill more to find more fish. They just, they cruise in, in packs. And once you pick off a couple, they tend to keep on moving. The key is to figure out which direction they move to. Time to move to another hole. Looks like they're staying in that uh, 29 to 30 foot range right on the transition. I'm not marketing right now, but what I like to do is pound the bottom and create a little bit of um, commotion on the bottom. Sometimes that'll attract the, the perch to come in. There he is. It's not a monster, but it's a nice one. Jason, you marking any over there? I'm not seeing anything, and we're only, what, maybe 15 feet apart? Yeah, these schools tend to be tight. Yeah, it seems like when you have one good one come oh, in, that kind of sparks the interest of all the other fish, and you'll get several in at one time. Sure. Holy cow. There we go. Boy, there must have been seven or eight of them. This one's not very big, but there's numbers down there. Again, we gotta get it back down there fast. Uh-oh, oh, here comes another one. There, that one hit it hard. I've got braided line on and there's no stretch to it so I can really feel those fish. It's that Berkeley Fireline Crystal. So it's translucent, but yet it's a braided line. Ooh, yeah, that's a good fish. Yeah, nice one. Close to here, but if you got them there, just work them. Yeah, I got them here. I mean, the what screen. Tom, aren't you, I thought you were catching them. Oh, there's another nice jumbo perch. I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting a little hungry. It's 12.30, it's time to do some eating. You know, a lot of people catch perch because they're great to eat. And did you know that the perch is a member of the walleye family? Or a walleye is a member of the perch family? No matter how you look at it, this fish is fantastic to eat. And we've got a special treat for you today because Butch Furtman, the producer of the Sportsman Journal television series is actually out on Mille Lacs Lake today. And he's out fishing not far from us. And he's prepared up a special recipe of his specially made deep fried perch. Stick around, we'll show you some of that action right after this. Don't go away, we've got more hot perch action from Mille Lacs Lake on Ice Fishing Today. Hi, I'm Butch Furtman. You know how great the Vexlar Flasher works in the winter time. Why not use it in the summer? By simply getting a kit from Vexlar with a high-speed transducer, brackets, everything ready to go, you'll be able to use this great unit even in the summer. Check out the TK kits for your system. A transducer kit comes with everything you need to mount your Vexilar in your boat. Ask your retailer for the location of the Vexilar accessories or you can order right now from IceFishingToday.com. Want to double your ice fishing success? It's easy. Just check out IceFishingToday.com. No, you don't have to pay anything or sign up to become a member. You just need to have the desire to catch more fish and have fun doing it. IceFishingToday.com is like no other fishing website because it's driven by informative video clips. As an extra bonus, you'll be able to purchase some hard to find ice fishing products directly from the IFT website. So start catching more fish this season, thanks to IceFishingToday.com. 
One of the big advantages of hosting Ice Fishing Today television series is that I get a chance to catch a lot of fish with some of the best ice fishermen in the country. And joining us now to show us how to properly prepare freshly caught perch is Hall of Fame angler and producer and host of the Sportsman Journal television series, Butch Furtman. Butch, come on in here. Hi, Tom. Glad to have you yeah, here, Butch. Glad to be here. Now, we finally got together. Fishing. That's right. That's right. Now, Butch has created his own campfire classic recipe for preparing fish. Why did you have to go out and create your own recipe? Well, I, I'll tell you, Tom, this uh, this batter here is something special. It's uh, got 40 natural ingredients in it. It's got a very low burning point, so you don't burn your fish like a lot of batters do. And uh, it's all, uh, like I said, natural. It's uh, no fat and cholesterol free. Well, folks, we're going to get a chance to personally sample that, and I will honestly review it and tell you how good it really <laughs> is. But first, what we're going to do is walk you through the proper procedure for preparing for perch for eating. So take it away, Butch. It's okay. all yours. What we'll do here, Tom, is we'll fillet a couple out. And, uh, you know, basically, uh, the perch is a lot like a walleye in a way, you know, as far as the structure. Uh, of course, the easiest fish I find to cut is the trout because they're, it's almost all meat. But these aren't that difficult. I just usually come up through the belly here and then I just come down along the gill and then what you want to do Tom is take your knife and you can feel that backbone there mm -hmm. just slide it along come back toward the tail and then just simply follow back all the way toward the head now you got a nice nice fillet here and we'll just take that that fillet right off and then, of course, we'll take the rib cage out at the same time so we have a real nice, clean fillet. They're, you know, like I mentioned, they're more like a, a crop, panfish crappie type of a bone structure, so they do have a pretty good size rib cage. But boy, there's a nice fillet, huh? Mm hmm. Well, that's one of the reasons why a lot of people like to fish for perch, is they, they love to eat them. Yeah, the perch is a great eating fish. You know, back in the old days, when we first started fishing 40 years ago, uh, perch was kind of looked down at a little bit you know and that's too bad because they're a great eating fish just as good as any of them and then of course we'll take the skin off some people will actually uh, scale the, the perch you know because they like the skin mm -hmm. but it all depends on the individual okay uh, Tom we got that one side we'll just come back and just repeat the process on the, on the other part here and uh, here again just come along that backbone how far in do you stick the knife? Well, you can actually feel it hit the rib cage. Okay. And then back toward the tail, then it, the rib cage stops so you can go all the way through. Got it. Like that, see? Mm -hmm. And then just come all the way back like that. And then simply follow that rib cage again. Good sharp knife is a very important. Now, how, how is there a trick to getting the skin off? Is there any particular method that you Not use? Not really. Uh, Generally, you can just hold on to it pretty good. And just your angle of your knife, you know, your sharp knife will cut through the skin if you're not careful. But you just kind of just get a feel for it. There we go. Now we got a start of a good shore lunch here. Well, Butch, it looks like you got these fillets ready to go. Maybe we should warm up some of that hot oil and start cooking. Sounds good to me, Tom. I'm hungry. I know what I'm looking for. I'm hungry. Hi, folks. It's ice fishing time. Look at the ice. I'm going ice fishing. How about you? But let's get and talk a little bit about the seriousness of ice. Not to scare anybody, but just to take some of this equipment with us. And we should always have this with us, by the way in case somebody does break through. It could be a fishing partner or somebody out on the body of water. And one of these should always be with us. That's your ice picks. Another one is rope that you can toss to, to that individual that broke through and bringing them out of that, that area immediately. And then of course, a very useful item is your safety whistle. You know, that, what else can we ask for? That will alert everyone that there's a problem out there. And this, by the way, comes standard with your Vexlar Cold Snap Suit. For more safety tips regarding some of these tools, if you will, go to icefishingtoday.com. Have a great season. Enjoy the winter. Hey, it's ice fishing time, everyone. 
Okay, Tom, I'll get the fire started here. Yeah, you get the fire started, and I'm going to try to figure out how to get these perch filleted. I never heard of having a shore lunch on the ice before. This is going to be fun. The folks should check with their various Department of Natural Resources if you can actually prepare fish on the ice. Some states don't allow you to do so, but Minnesota recently changed its regulations allowing us to do so. So, Well, our next step for uh, cooking our fish here, I just flayed them out. Uh, the nice thing about the campfire batter is that you don't have to use anything but water. So if you're out fishing, that's all you got, <laughs> you know. Just, well, a lot of people use egg though, right? Yeah, oh yeah, you sh sure enough, you can use egg and milk. It works fine, but this batter sticks so good that uh, you can just use beer? water. How about beer? Oh yeah, beer batter is really good. Beer works good yeah, too. Huh? Can't beat it. So I'll, Tom, if you help me here, you can shape shake uh, these up for me. Okay. Just put them in a Ziploc bag, and uh, we'll just keep dropping them in here. Okay. Am I doing it right? Boy, you're doing a good job. Oh yeah. Ooh. Couldn't find anybody to do a better job. Than yeah, you. yeah, you say that. <laughs> That's sticking on there very well, even without egg. I know that's the reason why a lot of people put egg on there is to make it stick on there. It's staying on good. So why did you decide on 40 natural ingredients well, versus you know, 39 or yeah. 41? Well, it just happened to turn out that way. But, you know, there's a uh, little uh, secret recipes in there and, you know. So you're not going to even tell, tell me. I mean, no one's well, listening. Well, maybe someday. No one's listening. All right, there it is. Okay, well. You got a glove on here. I got a glove Something on. Something can explode here or what? Okay. That's at That's 350. It's at 350. That's the temperature you're looking for. We'll drop this in. Ooh. That's the key is to get the heat up hot enough that these fish will cook fast. That. It smells good. Too bad we don't have smell TV going here, folks, because this really <laughs> smells good. Yeah. And it doesn't take too long, you know, two, two and a half minutes. And, that's uh, it? Two, that's, two and a half minutes? Yeah, that's about all with that temperature at 350. Turn it up a little bit now because, of course, she cools off. Yeah, when you put the air, all the, everything in it, she draws down the temperature of the right. oil. Man. The sound of success. <laughs> Folks, what we've done is we've prepared a little shore lunch on ice. You know, and Butch Furtman, as many of you know, is the creator of Campfire Recipe for cooking up shore lunch fish. And I tell you one thing, this stuff is absolutely fantastic, Thanks, Butch. Tom. And uh, we've, we've cooked some up, and if you go to icefishingtoday.com, you'll find out how Butch prepared this lunch for the crew here today. And I tell you one thing, this stuff is absolutely fantastic. It's a light coating. It's delicious. Mmm. You should be very proud of that. Yeah, it looks uh, like it's done perfect too. It's just got a uh, nice color. If you'd like to learn more about Butch's campfire recipe for preparing fish, just go to icefishingtoday.com. Now let's get back to the fishing action after we finish lunch. <laughs> this is really good stuff. Mm. Hey, lunch is ready, guys. Come and get it. Not you guys. This is the FL-12 from Vexilar. It was introduced into the product line in 2006 and has become a real favorite among anglers. One of the reasons why a lot of people like it is the new flat panel display. It offers a great peripheral vision so you can see it from the sides and a much bigger looking display. It still has the three color Vexilar system of green, orange, and red, so you can still use the same philosophy as you have with the older style of Vexilars, but the new sexy new look has become very, very popular. It also has five different depth ranges and a special 20 foot low power mode for when you're fishing in weeds or in very shallow water, you wanna cut down on the output power of the unit. It has a 10 step interference rejection button and it comes with standard, a 19 degree ice deucer. This is the FL-12 from Vexilar. I'm Tom Zanenko for Ice Fishing Today. Don't go away, Ice Fishing Today will be right back. Can we try something different this time? We are trying something different. We got our new fish trap in the back and our ice armor suits. Yeah, but can we fish different? Hey, aren't you Dave Gens? Yeah, you didn't think we were gonna make you fish all those lakes by yourself, did you? At Clam, we go fishing with you. Yeah, 
for real help from Dave Gens and Team True Blue, and to win a chance to go ice fishing with Dave Gens, head for the best spot of all, TrueBlueIceFishing.com. Want to double your ice fishing success? It's easy. Just check out IceFishingToday.com. No, you don't have to pay anything or sign up to become a member. You just need to have the desire to catch more fish and have fun doing it. IceFishingToday.com is like no other fishing website because it's driven by informative video clips. As an extra bonus, you'll be able to purchase some hard to find ice fishing products directly from the IFT website. So start catching more fish this season, thanks to IceFishingToday.com. Now here's a deadly presentation that's great for bluegill, crappie, and perch. It's called the Frost Shot, and essentially what it is, is a modified dropper rig. Instead of having the spoon on top and a bait trailing below, we've got the spoon on the bottom and a really small hook a few inches up above. Now, this is actually like a drop shot rig that you might use in the summer, but one of the differences is we don't let this spoon come into contact with the bottom. Instead, we use its weight to pin that hook and let it stand straight out. And then as I jig it gently, it's gonna make those maggots dance and jiggle and entice the fish. So the unique features of this frost shot rig is that we've got a small spoon, a Northland forage minnow, at the bottom of the presentation with the hooks removed. That way it's legal within some of these ice fishing states. Some of those areas you can't have more than one hook on your line. Then a few inches above, I've got four Eurolarve stuck onto that small hook. So the fish will come in for the attraction of the spoon because of its flash and vibration. And then notice the Eurolarve hanging a few inches above and move up and eat them. Well, that's it for this edition of Ice Fishing Today. I hope you enjoyed the program as much as we did making it because boy, I tell you one thing right now, Jason and I caught a boatload of perch. Yeah, but who drilled all the holes for you guys? Yeah, you're right. Corey did drill a lot of holes for us and we really appreciate that, Jason and I, because we did catch a lot of fish. You're on. welcome. Unfortunately, the program is not able to show you all that action, but if you go to icefishingtoday.com, you'll see the extended play version of this bonanza of perch fishing we had today. Plus, Jason did some extra special fishing tips you'll want to see for sure because this guy really knows his stuff. Well, I'm Tom Zanenko, along with Jason Durham and Corey Studer, and we hope to see you on the ice. Ice Fishing Today is brought to you by these fine sponsors. To learn more about today's show or discover more about the great sport of ice fishing, be sure to check out icefishingtoday.com.